Chromatics into the Black. I think I've started three or four reviews with that song because it's like the last song. I want to hear that before I talk about something. Now, Horfdale. Come here, Horfdale. Oh, that's a good move. Try your own risk. Let's unplug you. You're muted to the face. None of shouldn't blow up. This is a speaker. It's a speaker that people keep talking about. It's a speaker that no one would send me. And usually when someone from the UK is like, hey, I need speakers, uh, I would just say, um, get Wharfdales? A lot of people say they're good. You know, I don't know. I don't live in the UK. But then they're here, and I'm like, all right, Patreon money's 10.1s. Now, the 10 point, the, the system, the system. We gotta talk about the system that, uh, the Warfield uses, which is Britain's most famous loudspeakers, is the, we go to the Diamond 10 series, and now they're the 10.0s, the 10.1s, the 10.2s, and the 10.3s. 10.3s are towers, 10.0s are 4 inch, 10.1s, which are these, are the 5 inch, and 10.2s are the 6 inch. I guess I could live with that. That seems like a pretty organized way to go about it. There's also other Diamond 200s, and okay, whatever. Uh, hold on, where am I? 250 for the pair is what I paid. Like, all right, that, that's that's like the number. That's you know that's what those um, Cambridge audios. Those are 250. Those had a very specific re, uh, need. Uh, you want to be tranquil as fuck. You got those those Cambridge audios. These are the exact same price. Also British, and these are not as tranquil. Not even a little bit. These are uppity motherfuckers. All right. Let's look at the shape first. It's a, it's a dragon egg. You can quote me on that. Six ohm, which won't matter to, like, most amps. Usually speakers range, you know, they're usually eight. Is like the nominal, and then when you dirt certain frequencies at certain it lowers, it's a variable thing, uh, impedance, and it'll go down. So, they're averaging this at six, so this will still work on every surround receiver on earth just fine. Little TMs, the little like SA50 or SA98, or any of the toppings, those will work just fine because they love low impedance stuff, and I don't know why that is, it's just something to do with the digital amplification. Uh, 20 to 100 watts. I've got the Phase Linear Series 400, which is 200 watts per channel hooked up, and I can tell you because of the VU meters that you know are awesome that I have put 100 watts into these, and they can take it. And being only 86 dB per watt, they sort of need the power. Uh, I will again refresh sensitivity: 86 decibels. One watt of power gives you 86 decibels, roughly. So more efficient speakers, Klipsch RP150Ms. You have those one watt of power, you get 90 something decibels. I think it's 92, 90, it's, it's low 90s. Crazy like horn mother effers are just like 100 decibels for one watt of things. So those those can run off like a, a shoe box, literally just an empty shoe box. So these need a little bit more power than you know, you're, you're gonna average. You wanna, even on a desk here, SA50, something like that, you want a 50 watts, maybe the SA98, Give that just, just a little more, mm, da, mm, da, mm, da, mm, da, mm, da, mm, a little more of that. Dual ports in the back. It's got something stuck in it. Dual ports in the back, and I could see down it. It's got these threaded bracket things here, which doesn't come with brackets. I went through the box, and I bought these. Oh, these will be for sale on the, if you're a patron, I have 300 and something patrons, I don't know what the date is, so when this is coming out. If you're a patron, uh, because I don't have any need for more shelves, I'm going to sell these. These are bought with the patron money. I will sell them to a patron. Starting bid zero dollars. I pay for shipping. So if you're only willing to give me five bucks, PM me when the when the post comes up. I'll give you five bucks. And if you're the only person, then I pay for shipping and I lose a lot of money. But uh, hopefully, I can make a 70, 80 percent of my money back on these and buy the next set of speakers that I want to review. Maybe a higher end thing of Wharfdales. I don't know yet. We got to talk about them. Cool. Look how cool this is. This is cool. If you want to join Patreon, to, to one of the Patreon benefits, and I haven't been doing it, is when I buy things, I will sell them for a loss because who cares? It wasn't my money to begin with. I bought this with your money. 
So I might as well just get these things out of my house and make people happy. Look at these bridges. You looking at these bridges, bitches? Bitches, bridges? Let's unscrew one and take it out. Now, if you don't know what these are, inside of here, the crossover that denominates what frequencies go to the tweeter and what goes to the woofer, usually there's only one set of terminals and inside there and it just sends woofer stuff and tweeter stuff. But if you have binding posts like this where you could separate the bridge, now this top pair, well, I have to take both out, but this top pair controls just a tweeter and this top bottom pair controls just a woofer. So you could buy amp. Now, I could get really into the dislikes I have for that, that terminology because the problem with something like this is you're still going through the crossover, so there's not a super duper benefit. What are you doing? There you go. There's not a super duper benefit. If there was no crossover in here and you can control everything externally, then you could send full power to the tweeter and then balance it. So I'm going to recommend most people just leave these on, never take them off. One thing, you can't use bananas. Because Wharfdale is British, they're retarded? No, the government's are so Someone on health and safety. All right, we'll get back to the top gear levels of grant or health and safety. Because banana plugs like this will they were basically illegal in the uk because the power outlets if you ever look up what a british power outlet looks like it's two prongs that look exactly like that so they don't want little children going and plugging things straight into the wall so they plug up the five ways you have to unscrew this entirely and then i had to get a goddamn screwdriver and wedge it in there and pop out this see the little plug here and there same plugs the plugs are just buried in there so that you have to get them out and then put these back in order i didn't drop it on the floor on the best in order to use banana plugs and that was just a pain in the dick because i had them all set up and i'm like i'm just gonna plug these in fuck you britain and then i i eventually did get them to work on my living room so these started out life in the living room and i moved them in here for the intimate personal tests and we should talk about how they sound eventually also this shape by the way is not just to look cool a lot of the uh Actually, it's a lot of the Brit B and W and stuff. They go by this because it breaks up the reflections. Because the speaker is fire, the, the woofer fires out, but it also fires in. And the way that it pressurizes the air and bounces it around, this will quell some of the bouncing reflections inside. And I'm sure there's science to that. I haven't built many speakers from scratch, so I wouldn't know. But it, it's, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, let's take this off, hold on, I want you to see this first, oh, oh, there's a lot of reflection on that, you might get a CEO's preview. How's my GoPro look? Yeah, these are fucking phenomenal looking, like cover off, just change your underwear. We've got this crisscross texture on the surround this is not a real phase plug that's just a dust cap but that is legitimate woven fiber and, and then oh, this is cat hair you've got all these massive they're allen key hold things to hold in the driver and if you look this is a pegged cover with little rubber stops and i'm like well, where are the holes to hold the cover on and it turns out they all line up perfectly with the actual mounts for the speaker. And that's why these are so big, so that these could actually pop in there. So that's, that's interesting. That's something to talk about. Tweeter is dome style tweeter. It's buried behind this metal mesh. And a lot of people don't like the metal mesh. Can I, what is that? What are you, what, just a symbol? What are you doing in there for? I'm glad it's behind a metal mesh. Put it behind two metal mesh. Now I haven't, the recommended break-in is like 60 hours on these. And that's, for me, that would be, maybe I can get three hours a day for 20 days. That's a lot. I don't want to just leave them running overnight. That's stupid, especially because they're speakers and that's loud and stupid. So I'm close. I'm close to the break-in point. I use these for at least a full week in the living room. And... They did slightly change. There's a one guy that says 60 hours. I don't know if that's true, but 
there's a, a harshness that goes away. So I think you should all, don't judge them out of the box. Again, I do believe in certain types of break-in. Speakers, yes. Some headphones, yes. Amplifiers, unless you're tubes, and tubes vary all the time. So solid state, no break-in. Cables, don't be fucking stupid. Of course, there's no solid state break-in on cables. But moving magnet, things that have to stretch and, you know, wear it, that's, that's okay. I'll give you like 10 hours, and that's it. After 10 hours of doing this, you know, 700 times a second, this got to be fine. God, look at that. Where was I? Did I even talk about these speakers and how they sound? These are the polar opposites of the Cambridge, where the Cambridge were soft and sweet. These are in-your-face exciting. And I'm going to put them back up. In, oh. I have them up, upside down because Zeos is stupid. Why do you put your... Remember, you're buying this pair. So everything I do to them is a reflection of my care and concern. Why am I up in the stands upside down? I'll explain again in every video I have to do this because where I'm sitting and my GoPro throws off the, everyone thinks I'm like six foot four and I'm like six foot. So it's just, I wanted to bring the center image of a woman singing from there to there and the only way to do that is either to lower the speakers entirely which i can't do because they're on the three foot dr pro stand so if i still can find these i'll link these and when you turn them upside down you bring the tweeter which is the more locatable thing down so of course where it will be here to there that's just what brings the center image down people have complained oh you know you're throwing off the whole measurement of the the phase no because it's the same thing if i'm here then it's either here or here. It's, it's fine it's fine stop bitching I'll put them back up the right way. Oh, did I mention they're slightly heavy? Just the slight, the slightest bit, bitch heavy. Bitch heavy? All right, enough rolling around on this damn thing. It's time to stand up and do a review. Here, here, you happy now? Happy now? Now that I'm done listening, I could actually turn them. Um, Emotiva XDA2 feeding the Go Rack, the DBX Go Rack, acting as my pre because I'm using the phase linear model 400, which is just a power amp, and there's no volume controls on it. So that's like 25 to 60 watts, because power, especially when it's shown on our VO meters, is a logarithmic expansion. I don't know, I forget the actual term. Exponent? Whatever. It goes like two tenths of a watt, two watts, two tenths of a watt, point two watts, two watts, twenty watts, sixty watts, a hundred, hundred, two hundred watts. So that last bit is like the pulsating power of God. This is the Tenga Topa Garen Lagan Peeping Tom track so the tweeters oh god i left a lot of fingerprints on that maybe you'll pay more if i put a bunch of fingerprints on before i sell them to you they could be a little upfront they can be a little upfront in my living room these were perfect i was seven eight feet from the speaker just wow these have decent low end and the imaging is fantastic and they're exciting to listen to and they sound great. And think about all the speakers that they're, they're competing against. The Fluent Signatures are 200, these are 250. Why wouldn't you just get these? By the way, these come in seven different finishes. I'm gonna keep forgetting things like, let's go back to the diamond some more. Let me talk about the finishes. Rosewood Quilted, Walnut Pearl, Winter Maple, Cinnamon Cherry, Blackwood, Wenge, and Cool Maple. And these are Blackwood because everything is just black. Boring black speakers for days. So, listening to them, breaking them in, oh, oh, oh. I wonder how these are gonna sound close up. And this is, I consider, god damn. They fit, do not take the covers off. The fingerprints are just endless. They still work here. They still work here on a desk. Unlike the Cambridge, they're not, you're not gonna sleep to these speakers. You're going to do cocaine to these speakers. 
Don't actually do that, because that's terrible. But I, I could see it happening. I could see it happening. I myself to sleep. Basement Jack's Broken Dreams Acoustics. Chasing channels off my face. It's up there now again. That's what I fixed when I turned it upside down because now I'm listening like I'm my eyes are dead level with those tweeters just dead level and she's singing from like this shelf here so it's free to try people it's free to just turn your speakers upside down just 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 try it just just you know get get your your, your center set your foobar to mono which I have a hot key combination to set it to mono Get your, your, your distances here, or if you have to adjust, you know, balance is like a balance just there. Get it centered, and then figure out where the fuck it is vertically. And if you don't like where it is, if you're sitting there and it's like, why does she sound like she's singing from over there? Flip everything upside down, she'll sound like she's singing from there. And you leave it. And then everyone yells at you, because why are your speakers upside down? Because Zio said so. That's all you gotta say. Get out of jail free. The detail that these speakers throw, and it's it's because the tweeters are they're not bright, like in painful and hurtful. They're they're just very there, very there. Like oh my god! Like I had a I figured out there was a track that was a vinyl rep. That I didn't even know it was a vinyl rep because I just heard this. Like, what the hell is that? Like, oh, shit. By the chromatics into the black is that track. I knew it was a vinyl. It's just like, why would it even be? It's not even a vinyl. Whatever. You hear it. You hear everything. These are like the 81,000X. Not, not at all the 2000X. That's a hell of a praise to give to anything. But they certainly are revealing. Gaming with these. Because I've only moved them from the living room where I only game slightly to here where I can't game at all because it's a laptop. I game there, and I don't have a place for speakers, so I do game there, but you know, nothing is beating 590 Tau, nothing, ever, ever is going to beat those. But if you're gaming on a desk, you can get this sort of distance, so here's the thing, this is a four foot table, plastic table, covered in yoga mat, because I'm a genius. If you can get the speakers like this, like far enough away, like that you can't touch them, by all means. Desktop gaming, go for it. They're low end because the box is bigger. I mean, the Cambridge Audio that I discussed, whatever, last week. Smaller box, cute, hell. This, this is low end. And the Substynth works even better. If you don't know what Substynth is, go back and look for my DBX Go Rack review where I discuss what this actually is doing. And it's not going to apply to many of you because. I mean, you can just add this to any any setup. Access your volume control, add substance. Let's see if I can find a song that'll show that off. You see, it doesn't add bass when there already is bass. It adds bass when there's just not enough bass. So bring this down. Can you hear it? Can you hear this over the GoPros mic? Do I even need to do a sound demo? And by the way, every every one of these videos, for those of you who are new and don't and yell at me in the comments, we didn't even get to hear the speakers. There is a sound demo link in the description for every video. Every headphone I do and every speaker review I do is a whole separate video where I can get copyright infringements and all that shit. Just put it there. Let this video be live on mobile phones. That's why I'm only doing very short bursts of music here. So if you want to hear these speakers, link in the description for the actual sound demo. Not a mono mic on the top of my head. Just listen. You could be from uh, 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 there's like a, there's a sparkle that's supposed to be there. And it just brings it right up to your face. I almost thought that these are V-shaped, and I kind of have to stick with that, because vocals sound very, very good, but the highs are just sparkly enough, and the low end comes up just enough that it's got to be as slight as V, 
Just, just you know, relo- relax the mids. Ex- exactly the opposite of what the Cambridge audios were doing. Exactly. That was Air Venus. Again, I'm forgetting to say the names, and you're all going to ask me in the comments. Don't. I hate that. If you're going to ask, at least give me a timestamp. Oh, another Air song, Alone in Kyoto. You can't hear stereo separation, it's a mono mic, but it's doing a thing. Oh! I can't play too much of it, it'll get blocked. It's like seeping treble just to the forefront. I like it. I like it. I do like it. It's a revealing speaker that shows you exactly what your music sounds like. You better have high quality music. Let me put it that way. Because it's going to, every little bit of, of mess, of, of fuck up, let's call it fuck up, there's a certain amount of it, I'm sure it can be measured, will come out and you will know about it with these speakers. Right now, if you said the flow on signatures of these, I'm probably taking these, probably. But they're rear ported, so and they're they're deep. They're deep. In case you forgot, they're deep. So again, we're back to that thing on the desk. I'm in an abnormal situation here where I've got you know three foot tables around the entire perimeter of my room. There's no wall there. The nearest wall is three plus feet away. If you're on a desk, you're gonna have to re and then the banana plugs and stuff, that that adds at least that adds like a safety margin where you have to keep it away from the wall. But if your wall is here. You're going to have these speakers are going to be here and that's way too close. So I recommend them for a room home theater. I recommend them for home theater because they when you're far enough away that that treble is just perfect here. We're sort of getting into like that the uncanny to uncanny valley of am I too close? I think I'm getting too close. Shit. I'm too close. But out there in a real room. Perfect. If you're not going to be, if you're going to have these on your desk, but not be sitting at your desk a lot of the time, you're just going to put on music and go do other things and the rest of your, by all means. They are gorgeous. God, they're, this is aluminum, by this is like legit, like I could feel the machining in it. How do they do that for $250? How do they make them look like that for two? How do they make the shape? I guess it's just being around forever. And by the way, throw the covers away because you're never going to put these on. Unless you're proper British tea time. Cover. Cover that gaudy, oh my. That's my drunk Harry Potter impression. Don't ever make me do it again. Let's put something, I don't wanna make this video review again 27 minutes long. I'm sold on them. I'm sold on the Wharfdale name. I'm sold on the 10.1s. They were the 9.1s. Those were the last model. I decided, okay, the new one's out. Let's get these. Absolutely. fucking lutely I'm all for it. If you'd like to own this pair, I'll clean my fingerprints off of it. Or maybe I'll rub Chewbacca on it, make them worth more. I will be throwing up a blind silent auction with no reserve on the Patreon, which you could all join by clicking the link in the corner where you can grab these for whatever the highest bidder is. No one will know. You just all throw me your highest bid. At the end of a week, whoever had the highest bid gets a message and says, okay, you got it. And then I send it to them. Oh, US only, please. That's that's my one little caveat. I, I have supporters that are, a lot of supporters that are EU based, but sending a big box is just, retarded it'll cost as much as the speak it'll cost half as much as the speakers so if you are us based yes maybe if i do like headphones something smaller i would extend this opportunity to them or to you guys you know out there and you know poland and greece and i don't know if i'd send anything to greece a lot of mm. how many greek fans do i have please if you're from greece how's it doing over there message me in the comments but uh us based Patrons, even if you just start, five dollar bracket or more, you get to bid on whatever I'm selling at that time. So a lot of that's going to happen now because I've I've almost reached capacity here. Capacity. We're at capacity. 
do approve of these. Kind of want to hear the 10.2s because those are the six and a half or the six. I don't know if they go, they just do some weird British, British thing. They're doing a British thing. But yeah, so check it out. Check that out. Check these out. It's 165 millimeter. Uh, I, I need that in freedom units. Someone ca calculate that in freedom units. Nice.